All right, we got the crickets. We got the worms. We are going after the bull brim this morning. We're up here on uh, Bayou Darbonne here in West Monroe, Louisiana. And uh, it is a beautiful morning. It is right at seven o'clock. So partly cloudy, it's supposed to be a great day today. Um, we've been having a lot of rain here lately. The uh, bayou has been dropping. Uh, if you didn't see the video from last weekend, I'll put it right down here below. It's me and my dad went crappie fishing and uh, we had a pretty good day um, just down from here on the bayou. So going up in here, my brother-in-law caught some last weekend uh, up in this little spot, some uh, pretty good bull brim. So I'm gonna go up in there. Hopefully it's not one of those should have been here yesterday situations. So we're gonna go see what we can do and uh, see if we can find some brim. So well, let's roll. Oh, we got a good one here. Oh, we do have a little theme we're gonna try this morning. Picked this up the other day. We're gonna do the, uh, hopefully a series of these right here. We've got the, uh, the hand reel. Flip, hand, <laughs> hand fishing reel, flip reel. Uh, so as my dad said, we're a little bit behind times. In the 70s, they used to use Coke cans, and I'm sure prior to that, they used other things. So I know this is not a new concept, but um, we're gonna see what we can catch on this guy right here. So if you don't have a rod or something like that, this guy right here, I think was uh, 10 bucks. It was on the uh, discount sale rack, but um, you can do something like this pretty much with anything, I would think. So um, here it is. It is a... Um, basically just a round just a round circular device with uh, some line attached to it as you see right there so I'm guessing we'll just flip this out there have a cork on there of some form and uh, then just kind of jerk it back whenever we have a bite so the plan is catch a brim today with it um, take it catch some bass with it one day as well and just kind of see what we can do with this uh, little little flip guy right here so we're gonna rig up this little flipping pole right here pretty much like we would rig up any fishing pole. Uh, we're gonna take these, uh, you can use any jig uh, worm hooks. It's just what I have right here um, that I bought at the uh, store the other day. And then um, I'm just gonna run these uh, number seven weights right here. The line, probably should have redone this line right here. It's about 16 pound test line. So uh, whenever I bass fish, I'll probably put braid on here uh, with it because you don't have that kind of bow that you would have in a rod to kind of give a little bit with the, um, you know, in the drag and that kind of stuff. I guess you kind of hand drag it, but um, I want a little bit tougher line on it. But for brim fishing, probably a little skinnier line would be better. Um, but it shouldn't matter, man. If the bull brim are biting, the bull brim are going to be biting. So that's what we're about to rig up on here. So we'll have this. Um, I did bring one bass pole with me just in case we see some busting or see some activity. Then we're just gonna run the, I uh, got Mavericks, Zebco right back here. It's already rigged up, so that's the plan. We're gonna get this right here rigged up and we'll see you here in a minute. Well, there you go. It wasn't where I was wanting to fish. I already had the first hit. I took my cricket. First throw in the water. Huh. Well, that's a good sign. Second cast. Let's see if they'll take a little head. Sometimes they'll bite just a head of a cricket. They hungry. Cast four. Oh, maybe a little bitty guys right here. Cricket number five. Will cricket number five be the lucky cricket? Oh, finally got one, I think. <laughs> got one, finally. Ah, a little bitty brim. Right there, a little bitty guy.
not necessarily what we're going after, but a fun little fun little fish to catch. I don't really care to catch a lot of the little small ones. Kids are here, I'll use a little smaller hook. That way we catch pretty much anything that bites it. So they just like to catch fish. I mean, we all like to catch fish. It's all about that tug and that pull. There he is. There he is. It's a pretty good one here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Slab. That is a slab right there. Definitely a nice blue gill right there. Woo wee! First one for the for the ice chest, baby. That guy. Oh, got him. Got him finally. Got another nice one, I think, right here. Another decent little little brown. All right, let me show you real quick. If you don't know, a lot of people don't know. Um, I know there's different ways of hooking crickets. The way I hook them, I'll take the cricket and the hook, and there's this little slit right behind the head, and I'll go right down that. You'll see a little, a lot of times a little ooze will come out, and then just right back up down through the body. So that's the way I hook a cricket. If you've got a better way, I'd love to know about it. So comment right down below. Let me know how you hook your cricket, and uh, maybe you'll help me and help somebody else. So. All right, let's try our hand reel right here now. Put this one up. Should be interesting here. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get it out there to be honest with you. Do a little Indiana Jones twirl around my head. All right. This is a flipper. Let's see if we can. That didn't work now, did it? Stand up. It's a little bit better. Hmm. Throw here, and I threw my. I threw my cricket off. Boys, I got line everywhere. Let's put this right up here like that. Let's bring this in. Pull my line out here in the water. Oh yeah. Perfect throw. Had a hit. <sighs> Probably is going to be catching. Now I don't really know if I got my line. Oh, I got one. I got one. Oh man. I got one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, it's a good one. This is some task right here, boys. Oh god. Oh man, what do you know? That's a pretty nice little cat right there. Oh man. Make sure he doesn't get me. These catfish right here will get you, boy. Caught him <laughs> on the, the handrail. Oh man. Unbelievable. Trying to catch a brim, catch a cat. He's definitely a keeper, that's for sure. That's a good eating size right there. Caught him on the little hand reel. That was fun right there. All right, we're gonna put him in here. I'm gonna try it again. Oh, 
Come on now. <laughs> oh, we got us a bully! Got us a bully on the hand reel. Big old dark bluegill right there. Caught him on the uh, on the hand reel. That was cool. All right, we're gonna we're gonna put up the hand reel. We're gonna get back after it with a pole. Try to get a few more in here. That was definitely a good time. We'll try it again here in a little bit. Try it over here. A little different little spot. Oh! Oh, we got a good one here. Oh, catfish. Oh, yeah. Good cat. Good cat. Come on, baby. Yeah! Nice little cat. These are some good eating suckers right here. Basically, if you go to the uh, catfish place, they ain't gonna get no better than this one. <sighs> Boom. Another good one right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, good old bull. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good one. Good one. Woo, yeah. Maybe one of the biggest of the day right there. Good brim. Woo, he wasn't lying. Man, you can see the blue on his bluegill right there. That's the reason why they call him uh, bluegill. Right back in the water. It's basically brim fishing. These little Zebcos right here. This is the uh, Zebco Rome. Um, Pretty much any of your standard Zebcos and that kind of stuff are really all you need for brim fishing. You don't have to worry about, you know, your line getting all tangled up too much or anything like that. Just kind of worry about fishing. Um, not really any too much finesse that goes on with brim fishing. You may want to pop your cork every now and then or do some different things to your bait, that kind of stuff. But for the most part, um, you just need something that's going to get you in. And get that fish in so that's why i like these this is my kids reel right here mavericks and uh it does it does great yep oh it's a nice one again here boys oh man i like to have seen him Go. Be able to replace that one that I threw back in the water a while ago, showing you guys about the bluegill. <laughs> Not near as big, but another nice one. <laughs> oh, nice little brim. We'll throw him back. Another good one, though. much catch whatever you want keep whatever you want um, I have a tendency to fillet mine so I like them a little bit bigger I'm gonna do some of these whole oh, tore his head off so um, the little smaller ones are fine scale them cook them out Kimberly actually she said she prefers them that way had no idea Yep. That one right there did a little pop. And uh came up, got a nice brim. A nice one. Let it back up a little bit. Got me good too. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Look at that joker. Good brim right there. Smoking the brim right now. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's two in a row. Just, just talking on the phone. <laughs> oh, it was a good one. I don't keep any of those. <laughs> oh yeah, here's a good one. Definitely keep it here. Yep. Alright. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. Another great bluegill right there. There you go. <laughs> uh, man, that's a challenge right there. I'm trying to reel that guy in. Mm -hmm. Got him. He ain't very big, but we got him. <laughs> that's right. Nice one. Got a good one. Good one on the hand reel. That's a good one to end on right there. Oh yeah. That may be the, the biggest toad of the day. Right there. Get him in here before I drop him in the water. I'm rolling a lot today. Yeah, he's a keeper. Around. The blue. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking at for right here. Great brim. We got something good here. That's a that's a brim. Boy, that is a tank. It is. Come on now. Oh, cat. Oh, that's all right. Good catfish right there. Good eater. Catfish. Nice. Good fishing here in the state of Louisiana, um, if you, especially if you're from North Louisiana. We got uh, the Washtenaw River. The Washtenaw River system, which this is really a part of, is is a uh, phenomenal system. And um, then you have Darbon Lake. Uh, you got Caney. You've got uh, Lake Claiborne. I mean, there's just a variety of lakes around here that you can fish that are uh, phenomenal fisheries. And um, it's definitely definitely worth getting outside. And uh, catching you a good mess of fish, if it's brim, if it's bass, if it's crappie, if it's catfish, whatever it is, um, there's pretty much a species of fish out there for you. So, anyway, all right. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Flat out hot. So, with that being said, man, that is a wrap. We had a pretty good day up in here. Caught a lot of brim. Um, <clears throat> saw a bunch of other activity. Caught a few catfish. Uh, caught some on this uh, on the on the one reel, which was pretty fun. So about to put the trolling motor in. We're gonna head on down tomorrow. I'm either gonna head up here with Nolan, or uh, we're gonna go out and try to catch some crap, 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 crappy, some some crappies. So anyway, I'm gonna put the trolling motor in. I'm gonna kind of ease over here off to the side. If you didn't see any other videos previously i put a couple links of those or just go back on the channel and look under fishing this is the uh water snake uh trolling motor that i'll be dropping down in here it pretty much just drops right down into 
the Hobie Mirage Drive area. So I'll pull this Mirage Drive up. I have it leashed. I highly recommend you leashing it. It's a thousand dollar piece of equipment you would not want to uh, drop down. And then I'll take this power cord and pull this down. You can see. And I will just drop it right down in there like that then I've got my uh, power ran I'll run it right over here plug her up and turn her on so all the steering is done with the um, uh, with the rudder system that's already built on these kayaks so all right there we go a nice mess of fish brim couple uh, catfish in here as well so you can see that we're about to uh, fillet them out and uh, got some rain coming and I think tomorrow we're gonna like I said earlier we're gonna either head up to back up to the bayou and uh, kayak fish or we're going to uh, head out with my dad do a little crappie fishing that'll be on the bayou as well Hopefully Nolan will be joining us, so we're going to get these cleaned up, and we'll see you back out on the bayou tomorrow. So be looking for that video as well coming up here soon. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Let's get to cleaning some fish. Let's get to eating.